In this module, we're going to be deploying a sample application from our NetBeans IDE to our AWS environment. Um, and uh, and that's, that's actually a, a really great thing to set up because, uh, you know, it, it makes it so much easier to just be able to finish whatever it is that we're doing, finish the app that we're working on, and then push it right to AWS and kind of see how it responds. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is in, uh, so I, I'm going to assume that you've already got your um, Elastic Beanstalk set up. And I, in a previous module, set up an Elastic Beanstalk called Java, or uh, Test Java E7 environment. So that's where I am. I'm in this particular environment. As you can see, I have a couple of other environments here, but I'm in this particular environment. Um, also, I set up uh, previously, or, or I did a module on setting up NetBeans um, IDE um, and basically setting that up to be able to deploy straight to my uh, AWS uh, uh, Elastic Beanstalk environment. So I've got that set up. I've got the, the IDE set up. I've got my AWS uh, Elastic Bean, uh, Beanstalk set up. So now what I want to do is test it and basically make sure that I can deploy from, from the IDE over to the Elastic Beanstalk. So uh, what I want to do is I want to actually create a new project. So I'm going to do a new project here in, in NetBeans. I'm going to go to uh, Maven, uh, and I'll, we'll get into what Maven is later, but for now just, just select Maven, and you can do other things, so you can do Java Web, but we're going to stick with Maven. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a, a Maven web application. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do next on that. Um, I'm going to call this test. Oh, I guess I better uh, do this a little bit more formal. Test deploy AWS uh, in the folder of my choosing here. And I'm going to do next. And then uh, this is probably the most important part here. We want to make sure that we select the, um, the instance or the environment that we want to deploy this this test application to. As you can see, I have three uh, instances plus a, a local Glassfish server. Um, but these are the, the uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk instances or environments that I have. I want to make sure to select this one. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it at Java E6 web, and then I'm going to do finish. What that's going to do here in my IDE is it's going to create a new project for me. And <clears throat> I'm just going to come in here under web pages I'm just going to edit this uh, this JSP page here, and uh, I'm just going to say um, my first JSP page, hello world, and deploy from NetBeans. Just something simple. Um, then what I'm going to do after that is right click on uh, the project heading here and do run. You can also just there's also a uh, there's also a run button here. But if I do run now down in my uh, my IDE, I can see that it's uploading. And if I come over here to my Elastic Beanstalk, I can refresh. And I can see that it's actually updating from my NetBeans IDE. So I'm pulling from the NetBeans or I'm deploying from the NetBeans IDE to the Elastic Beanstalk. So it takes just a second to do that. And again, this is such a great feature because it just is so automatic and it's so easy to do that. And then, and then once, it, once it's done um, deploying, then what it'll do is it'll go ahead and open it up for me automatically. And I should be able to see the, the Hello World page. And there it is, Hello World Deploy from So that's, that's what we had here. Um, so I can close this and if I wanna go back to this and Go, go to my, uh, go to this this you know access this application that I deployed, which as you can see is is right here. So test deploy AWS, test deploy AWS. That's the current running version on my web container. Um, but if I want to go to that again, I can just click here on my the the full name of my environment, and there we go. So that's how you deploy from NetBeans IDE to AWS.